French President Emmanuel Macron is facing new protests today from the French police department. He's promised a one-time 300 euro bonus for police officers, but that does not seem to be enough. All of that comes after weeks of yellow vest protests that have been Macron's stiffest challenge yet. But after a series of measures designed to appease public anger, the French president is still trying to show he's in control. Well, France 24's Chris Moore is covering this story for us from the French Ministry of Interior in Paris. He joins us now from there. Chris, the yellow vest protest was the first big crisis for Emmanuel Macron since he took office 18 months ago, now added by the police. So what might come out of this second round of talks today with the French police? That's right, yes, those yellow vest protests you were talking about, the biggest crisis really for Emmanuel Macron, and the way uh, really uh, coming out of the blue, although they did uh, give a voice to a lot of uh, frustration that had been bubbling uh, below the surface, a lot of grievances which had the uh, backing of the majority of the French population. It ended up uh, with Emmanuel Macron giving a number of concessions uh, to the protesters. And now, as you say, uh, the police want their pound uh, of flesh. They say that dealing with those uh, protests, dealing with the terrorist threat uh, of recent years has left uh, the police force uh, overstretched and exhausted. And what's more, they say, uh, now is the time to bring up uh, a number of issues, some of which go back decades, uh, not least the fact that uh, they say some 23 uh, million hours worth uh, of overtime uh, remains uh, unpaid. The uh, police unions here in France have traditionally been uh, relatively influential. They'll be hoping for further concessions in talks uh, with ministers in the Interior Ministry behind me uh, this afternoon. And as you were saying there, Emmanuel Macron, the French president, he was a leader who promised to be different to those who'd gone before, saying that he wouldn't give in to pressure uh, from the street, that he would balance uh, France's budget, make it more credible in Berlin and in Brussels. And the last month, really, uh, all of that has uh, had a pretty brutal encounter with reality on the streets of France. Well, Chris, what about the yellow vest protests themselves have been much bigger? We saw the numbers dwindling last Saturday, which was the fifth big protest day. What's going to happen this Saturday, the last Saturday before Christmas? It's difficult to put it. There's always been two elements, really. First of all, the images uh, which uh, make TV news bulletins around the world, namely the at times violent clashes here on the uh, streets of Paris. Last weekend, there were, frankly, probably more police officers out on the streets uh, than there were uh, protesters. Uh, the government and authorities will be hoping uh, that that is the same uh, this weekend. Uh, out, uh, outside the French capital, it's always been more of a case of uh, blocking petrol stations, uh, roundabouts, uh, motorway polling booths, that kind of thing. Participation has dropped off fairly dramatically uh, in, uh, in uh, the last uh, week or so. Police moving in on a number of sites there, and uh, the government obviously be hoping that that's a trend uh, that continues. Though, as I said, it is un unpredictable. And uh, the fact of the matter is that although the majority of the French public don't approve of the uh, violence we've seen on the streets of Paris, those basic grievances uh, of the uh, yellow uh, vest protesters, well, they very much have the sympathy of the uh, French public. So it is uh, a difficult situation for the government. Chris, thanks for that. That's France 24's Chris Moore reporting there from the Interior Ministry in Paris. Now, the King of Belgium.